Hey guys, I'm iCabagon. Welcome back to some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, what did we do? We left the forest and we made it here to the castle courtyard and we are now going to go find the princess that we've been, that we've heard so much about. It's like, you've got a tweet. Oh, people keep tweeting me because I tweeted a thing about hockey and hockey people like to talk about it all. All right, so we have to sneak pie. Hi. We have to sneak pie into the castle. Sneak by the guards. I'm gonna try something risque here. Alright. Did it. Aw, oh, shoot. Who caught me? Hang on, I gotta turn my do, on, do not disturb off my phone because that was bugging me. I don't know who caught me there, but I didn't think that he could see me. Excuse me, get back in, out of the water. That's highly annoying. Up we go. Up the path. And enter the castle. Okay, let's try this again. Once more with feeling. Please look away, look away, look away, look away, look away, look away, look away. Okay, let's try this again, and this time we're not going to be stupid. We're going to wait for them both to go down behind the fountain. Dude, that guy just got there and his buddy was like, Um, I have to go over here now, away from you. But now we can run our way over here, because those guys are occupied. Now this one is tricky. Because you can't actually see which way you're going. You can't change the- Oh, you can't change the camera here, so you gotta be- Really, really careful. Oh god. Wow, that was close. Now there's two here. We gotta wait for them both to be behind, and none of them move fast. So this is kind of tricky. Okay, you get- Please turn and go down that way now, come on. You got this, fam. And here we go. Now we gotta hide behind this, and wait for these two guys. Where's the second guy? There is most definitely a second guy. Where is he? He must be all the way down there then, isn't he? What? Oh, there he is. Crap. That's actually extremely annoying. Now he's gonna disappear. Shoot. Way easier when they're both, like, right together. Yeah, you can just walk away now. Oh, damn. Now I'm kind of stuck. I have to wait for him to turn. Go! Now we're gonna hang a left. And go into Zelda's garden. The castle courtyard. Now before we are done here, there's a few Easter eggs. For one, if you take your slingshot and shoot at this window, a guard comes out and he's like, Hey! Don't you cause any trouble! Yeah, I got off my lawn! And he throws a bomb at you. Which is probably okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, this is one of the, uh, not earlier entries on the Nintendo 64. But one of the, the launch titles was Super Mario 64. So if you look in here, there are posters. One of Mario right there, there's Bowser. If we can get over here, we can see Luigi. And over here, we should be able to see... Um, that's Bob. We should be able to see Yoshi and Peach. And another uh, Easter egg, if you shoot it, you get a red rupee, which is worth 20. Always nice to have. So yeah, just a few little nods to uh, Mario in this game. But let's go meet the princess. Yay! <gasps> ah! Who? Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Murder. Oh? What's that? Is that... A fairy? 
then are you are you from the forest then then you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest would you that green and shining stone zoom up do you have it uh, no yes we do have it just as I thought I had a dream in that dream dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule but suddenly, a ray of light shot out from the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. <gasps> Oh no! I didn't know this! What is your name? Link! Link. Strange. It sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please keep this a secret from everyone. Uh, I would like to tweet this immediately. No, I'm just kidding. The legend goes like this. It says that we have to reuse old cutscenes. Three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. So like, what if I wish for an Xbox One or something? If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. So, the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. Not bad for the 64. That's right. The Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. <gasps> They said the name of the game in the thing! Oh, oh, they said it! They said it! Did you understand well the story I just told you? Uh, sure did. That's great! Cool! I forgot to tell you, I was spying through this window just now. I don't recall asking. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window? At him? Yes, well, I mean, right off the bat, this seems like profiling, which I'm not cool with. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? Well, there's only three men there, and two of them appear to not have eyes, so I guess I can see him. That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They, hi they hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that cover Hyrule in my dream. They must symbolize that man. Surprise! What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea of what we're planning. Yet. Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm, as I have to yawn in the middle of speaking. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it, and he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Link, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. Okay. Thank you. I, I am afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power, but it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. Just said the thing again! 
he shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, then defeat him. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. Aw yeah! You received Zelda's letter! Wow, this letter has Princess Zelda's autograph! Let's list it on eBay for 100 rupees. On the select, blah, blah, blah. You can set it to blah, 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 and then use that blah to show it to people. All right. That it? My attendant will guide you out of the castle. Don't be afraid to talk to her. All right, goodbye forever. <laughs> Going somewhere? I am Impa of the Shikaz. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess, princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. You played Zelda's lullaby. Oh, oh my god, it makes music! That's what it does. You've learned Zelda's lullaby. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. With magic! You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, sounds promising. Home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help to prove your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. Alright, we're counting on you. Just, just gone. Just gone. Alright guys, so yeah, that we finally met Princess Zelda and we learned our first Ocarina song. But before this episode wraps up, we're gonna go to where we're gonna wanna be for the start of the next episode. Which is this prove it like this looks like a fortress over here. This is actually Lon Lon Ranch, so this is where Talon owns and Malin is here as well. So let's go up. So welcome to Lon Lon Ranch, everybody. However, that's actually going to be it for time on this episode. So with that, guys, I have been iCabagon. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and a comment as well as subscribe for more videos like this one if you have not done so already. Don't forget to check out Colab Camera Up as well as all the channels on my sidebar. Links are in my sidebar, der. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we're going to be exploring around Lon Lon Ranch and hopefully heading to Kakariko Village. Until that, until, until next time, guys, I am signing off.